Hello, everybody, and welcome to an overview of all the new skins and abilities for the Skills 2.0 update. Now, this is not a guide on unlocking everything and is rather a showcase of all the new stuff. The requirements for each skin and ability shown here can easily be found in your logbook under the Challenges section, so I won't cover them here. And I will be covering the strengths and weaknesses of these new abilities, but not in this video. Expect a video on the best loadouts for each survivor here within a week or so. For every survivor, the skins and abilities you see here can be chosen in the loadout tab when you're in character select after they are unlocked. Once you start a run, the loadout you have chosen cannot be changed until you begin an entirely new run. All right, let's get started here with the commando. His picks are a new secondary and special. Phase blast replaces your piercing shot and basically turns it into a double barrel shotgun. It does some great single target damage and the distance does not have to be point blank and functionally it can be used pretty much at all the same situations as his regular M2. Frag grenade replaces suppressive fire and gives commando some nice AOE damage to deal with groups. The area of its explosion is quite small and and that, coupled with the bounce of the grenade, makes hitting flying enemies quite difficult. And to get Commando's skin, as a matter of fact, to get everybody's skin, you have to obliterate yourself at the Celestial Portal on Monsoon difficulty. To get a certain survivor skin, you have to obliterate on them specifically, so you must do a minimum of six obliteration runs because Mr. Engineer doesn't get a skin. Get wrecked, Engineer mains. Moving on here to Multi. He gets the choice of two different primary skills. His passive allows him to carry two separate M1 abilities, and you can choose any combination of the existing two and these ones. The scrap launcher is just a grenade launcher that must be reloaded after four shots. The AOE of the explosion is a tiny bit smaller than the commando's frag grenade. The power saw gives him some up close and personal capabilities. As long as you hold M1, he will continue to tear through enemies. Next is the huntress with her new utility and special skills. Phase blink replaces your single long range blink with three shorter ranged ones. They are functionally identical, except that you cannot blink upwards with the new one and only side to side and backwards. The cooldown is much lower than her regular shift and it does not interrupt your sprinting. Ballista replaces Arrow Rain and gives her three powerful piercing shots for more front-loaded damage instead of the more drawn-out hits of Arrow Rain. If you hold the R like her default one, after a while she will automatically use all of her shots. You cannot stay in the air indefinitely. Next up, the Engineer with his walking mines and turrets. Yes, you heard that right. Your turrets will follow you around the map while also dealing more damage than usual, while the mines will remain inactive until an enemy comes near their radius. Once something is close enough, they will get up and charge insanely fast towards them and boom! Seriously, look at how fast these things go. The Artificer is our special snowflake and gets three new abilities, a primary, secondary, and special. Plasma Bolt turns her usual fire bolts into, well, plasma, and removes the burn damage for a nice little area explosion. Her regular M1 already has a tiny bit of AoE, but Plasma Bolt has much more. The Nano Spear is very similar to Nano Bomb and just replaces the big explosion of a bomb with the piercing effect of a spear. Also, the stun capability is replaced by a freeze. Finally, Ion Surge replaces her flamethrower and instead gives the Artificer an escape tool. When used, you shoot up in the sky quite high and deal some nice damage while also stunning any enemies around. This damage and stun happens at the start of the cast and not the end. Back here to two skills. Mercenary gets a secondary and special. Rising Thunder replaces his lateral and vertical slash with an only vertical one. However, this slash knocks up smaller enemies and does slightly more overall damage in one hit rather than two. Slicing Winds replaces Eviscerate and trades immunity frames and mobility with the ability to target multiple enemies. Rex, sadly, is the opposite of Artificer and only gets one new ability. Seed Fall it replaces the usual artillery skill with, well, just more artillery. It costs 30% of your HP rather than 15%, but has a much longer cooldown. Like, way longer. Finally here, the Loader. If you're not familiar with her kit at all, do not worry, my Loader character guide will be out here in a few days. Just know that her new ability is functionally the exact same as her default one, but it lets you damage enemies, as well as pull yourself to them, or themselves to you. You go to large enemies, while small enemies come to you. So, I kinda lied here at the start. Here's a quick and easy way to guarantee the Demon of the Skies challenge for Mercenary. On distant roofs, simply go to where I am going, the big cliff which is in the top left of the map. Once you're there, jump off and repeatedly spam your M2, Shift, and R while looking up. As long as you keep looking up, you will be airborne long enough to get the unlock with no items and very little time invested. As the clip rolls, let me know if y'all need help with some of these unlocks. The past couple days here, the Prismatic Trial have been amazing for the no-hit challenge on both Mercenary and Huntress, so if you can't finish either of those or you need help with other ones, please let me know in the comments and I will do my best to help you out. After the loader guide, you can expect a best loadouts video as well as an update to the item and equipment tier list. If you'd like to watch me play the game live, you can follow the stream at twitch.tv slash woollygaming and consider joining our Discord server as well. If you want notifications when I go live or upload a new video here on YouTube, then our Discord server is exactly where you want to be. Thanks for watching and be on the lookout for all the content coming in. Ha!